So if you were with me before on this job we've got an issue so it runs down 22 in here and then you can see that 15 that 15 runs about 20 meters which it really shouldn't do it runs through the here the extension in to this bathroom to the through the back you know they've got 10 more tails popping everywhere through the back of this skirting again 10 more tails popping on that and then it comes right through the back here again on here and then we've got the 10 miles popping by again and this radiator is struggling to heat the back two panels are heating but the fronts look bottom so what we're going to do is we'll start off by draining the system which I've already done here as you can see it's draining down then we'll go in here and we're going to add in some <sighs> hydraulic separation like this and then we're going to put another pump in to can increase the flow rates and that should cure the issue or it will cure the issue that we're having and then we've got on here underneath we've got our plumber's nappies just a, it can absorb up to five liters of water just in case there's any spills which is very helpful Right, so we're set up here and I'm just going to start pressing the 20 to it. It's fine. And then what I'll do is I'll press the set up. So here I'm basically pressing the 22 pipework but I mean the way the whole pipework set up here is a bit frustrating because it's, it's like banged on hep through the whole house. It's a bit kind of unstable so I'm trying to press it and get it kind of pretty rigid. There's a clip there at the end of the pipework but um, it keeps slipping out because of the weight of the pump. So so we're kind of relatively set up here. I need to go and grab a couple of 45s. I, just, I dropped my bender and broke my wee stupid wheel thing. So I need to get two 45s for this and then I, 22 mil ring and tie that in and straighten this up tighten it in while the pump back into the boiler so what I'm going to do now is through here I've lifted this radiator 61 kilos that was absolutely brutal to lift and I'm going to swap this one with this one and then I'm just going to because this side of the house is lower than that and there's no drain point I'm just going to use my weight vac um, I'm going to suck everything away and uh, drain this side down it might take me a wee while but it's got to be it's got to be We'll cut this in. There we go, we're getting a full slip in there. And I want to put that in. Press it up. that on there, make sure you've got your ring in and then your nut make sure it's nice and straight tighten that up I just give you the bottom side of the hand tight so it doesn't fall out. See that? It doesn't fall out there. Get my grips, widen them up so I can do that, and then we're going to tighten this on. That 
Oops, that tightened. And then I can get the bottom one. Oops, there you go, solid. Perfect. That looks good. So I'm that confident here, I've fitted the actual other K3. I've upgraded a bit of pipe work between the tip because it was 10mm coming through and I've upgraded it. So we're going to go back through to the boiler area and I'll show you that I've hydraulically separated the system, I've added in the pump and then we're just going to fill the system up. And obviously there's a point here, um, when you wire the pump back into the boiler, you wire it into the R, so you wire it into the heating zone, then you'll take the live and uh, you'll take the earth and the neutral and take that back into the boiler side. So basically it's creating a switch live, so the demand for the pump only comes on once you're calling for heating and no other time. I hate this thing. See if it leaks. Oh, fuck. There we go, Hank. Perfect, it's filling the system. So you'll see here, you'll see the pump, you'll see my close couple of T's on the left hand side, and that's exactly what's going to help the system aid and heat better. So then we'll start going through to the other radiators and check if they're getting hot and which they are, they're getting absolutely roasting. So my job here is done. Roasting. Roasting. <laughs> 